Millage Bones. Seen from a bird's eye view, they look like a network of lakes separated by dikes. They were built from the 11th century, mainly in the backwaters of the slowly flowing Bowish River and in the Bog Iron Ore excavations. Today, they form the largest complex of fish bones in Europe. Some of them, like the one with red eyelets, stretch almost to the horizon. For generations, fish farmers have been feeding the fish growing in bones here. Men are going out on boats and with shovels are pouring grains into the water. Huge amounts of fish living here attracts a large number of birds, of which the fish is the primary food source. This way the centuries-old fish farming tradition resulted in the creation of one of the most valuable wetlands in Europe and the largest bird paradise in Poland. There are 300 species of birds here, most of them nesting, like the two coots, jumping at each other. These duck-sized blackbirds, with an oblong white spot on the forehead, are extremely brave. Watching nature is facilitated by observation towers and hideouts located by the ponds. From this one, you can see a pair of swans performing a ballet in the rays of the setting sun, bending and straightening their long necks in the water drinking ceremony. For tourists visiting the Bayridge Valley, wait over a thousand kilometers of roads. Charming surroundings can be explored or on foot, like this man on crutches, by bike, like this family with children, and also on horseback, in a carriage, or kayaking, like these two boys in a boat, moving slowly along the middle of the river. Learning local attractions is facilitated by numerous information boats and signposts. The needs of people with disabilities had been that of two. Nearby fishing boats in Ruta Zulowska, a part of census has been prepared. Here you can touch mosses, branches covered with lichen, or leaves and bark of various tree species, and even walk barefoot on a path made of pebbles, grass or wood. Moreover, the Karu Valkova nature trail leading along the forest attracts blind and visually impaired visitors with numerous descriptions written in braille. The Bowage Valley sparkles with many colors throughout the year. The charm of a rust scarred cattail, illuminated by the setting sun, swaying in the winter wind, remains in the memory for a long time. Oh, a family of yellow-breasted whooper swans basking at the junction of water and ice, or glistening icy crystals being crushed against the shore by waves, or hundreds of ducks sitting on a big frozen pond and white-tailed eagles sagging low over them. With the onset of spring, the whole land becomes lush green. Sun's rays break through the riparian, or the oak forest stretching around the ponds. Birds start mating and make nests. A new generation is coming into the world soon. It is a time of leading the young, who must quickly learn to care for themselves. Accompanied by whooper swans and herds of noisy gulls, young red-necked grebes begin their education under the watchful eyes of the parents. The small baby sitting on mom's back is not two weeks old yet. The female feeds it with insects, small fishes and invertebrates. In summertime, some ponds are home to a protected and very rare in Poland fringed water lily. Under the proper conditions, this thin yellow flower weaves patterned carpets on the surface of the pond, contrasting with the blue of the sky 
reflecting in the water. The long-legged grey heron, flying low over the pond and fighting against strong wind, patrols its hunting grounds. When it senses danger, it hides among the coastal reeds, disappearing from the sight of a potential enemy. Village ponds are the only ones in Poland that belong to the world network of so-called living lakes. Apart from fish, the pond waters are inhabited by numerous invertebrates, reptiles and amphibians. Here, blended in with its surroundings, a green-brown moorfrog is hunting a mosquito. Its head, barely protruding, above the surface of the water is almost invisible among the pond greenery. Jump and mosquitoes hunted. There is also a rich life outside of water reservoirs. In a nearby meadow, a hungry white stork very carefully combs the thickets in search of food. He steps very carefully too lifting its long red legs high. Freshly mown wheat and barley fields are favorite feeding places for grey like geese. The birds sit here in rows, diversifying the landscape of the stubble with patterned grey and brown coloration and bean creeks. In autumn mornings, mists surround meadows, fields and ponds, and the rising sun paints this fabulous land with shades of pink, gold and silver. October and November are the petrol times for some of the birds, and the harvest for fish farmers. The men track green fishing nets, which get full quickly. Carp predominates, but there are also grass carp, tench, silver carp, pike, and catfish. Carp, previously available only for holidays, is now a regional all year delicacy. Served in many ways, it's very popular with visitors to local restaurants and stores. You can also find here handicrafts, honey, liqueurs of fruit from the surrounding orchards. Village Ponds is a land shaped by men for centuries. Today, it's a refuge for countless numbers of birds and a unique tourist attraction in Europe. Credits This film was made within the Nature Without Barriers project. This film was founded with support from the European Commission under the Erasmus Plus program. This film is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution 4 international license.